Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Sorry I'm not shaved and I have today absolutely bad hair day so this is the reason for my base cap. <laughs> um, otherwise I will looking like um, Gandalf with long hair and long beard. Um, today I will show you some interesting technique maybe. It's um, called swirl swipe I think. For this I use my Shelly Art recipe. And I will start the video with the final result at first, so that you can see um, the colors and all these pretty cells at first and not at the end. And I will talk with you about this pretty piece. This is my swirl swipe. I use for this TLP interference pigments. And in this pretty thing, you can find TLP marker, which is some duo interference pigment, which changed the color from gold to indigo. And then <clears throat> I laid down the second layer was Glisten, also from TLP, which is also some dual interference pigments what uh, turn the color from greenish to blue turquoise. <coughs> and at last, I use TLP Twinkle. You can see this in this big stripe here. It's changed the color from blue to Wait a moment, where is it? To purple. What the heck? Here, you can see. It's purple and this way it's turned into a blue tone. And so I was thinking that this is really a pretty video to show you what interference pigments are done with your artwork. When you watch in different angles, your art piece change the color. Can you see this? Here the extremely gold and turquoise from the glisten and marker. And the big stripe, the blue from twinkle. And when we change the angle, we have different art piece with different uh, not different art piece <laughs> but uh different colors and i love this art piece so much that i was thinking why i don't make a video for this and so yes this was my final resort and now i will show you how i create this um at first it's really interesting or important to know that I use for this only pigments. So it's um, important that I, or that you, when you try to make this, um, mix your pigments a little bit thicker so that um, nothing get wonky. You can see here all pretty cells, not wonky things. Um, yes, the pigments a little bit thicker and then I have used for my CA Amsterdam Lamp Black in ratio three parts Floetrol and one part Lamp Black that I make on my <coughs> swiping tool and there I put a little bit of white at the swiping tool and cross over my black pillow and create this. But I think I talk too much again, so <laughs> I will show you what I have made in my video and I hope you have fun, enjoy it. And if you like my video, please leave a comment or give me your thumb. Subscribe my channel and hit the bell so that you don't miss any interesting infos and 
let's start. So at first I use here this wood board. It's uh, 40 by 40 inch, not inch, <laughs> centimeter, sorry. Um, I don't know what this uh, size is in inch, but here in Germany we have the size for centimeter. Um, yes, and this is my mixed up black pillow. It's a regular matte house paint from a German hardware store here. It's a really good product. I um, mixed up this one just with a little bit of water for the right consistency. And you see here in this video <coughs> that I spread out the paint so that I don't must too much tilt it after my swipe and lose not all the cells. Um, it's really important for this technique. Then because it's uh, deep deep H um, wood board so I covered here also with my spatula the edges with the paint so that the flow lately is better and just don't stock at the wood here you see my spinner I need a new spinner he do what he want he uh, <laughs> spinning around and yes, some little bubbles in my pillow paint, but when you blow over the bubbles, it's not a problem to destroy them. So here I start directly with the TIP marker. Um, it's a little bit thicker than regular for a bloom, personally for me. Also here, little bubbles, but some blow and bubbles go away and then I lay down my second layer is TIP glister I love to see this <laughs> um, yes and my third color here in this art piece is TIP twinkle also a little sick but not too sick um, for me, these cons consistencies are perfect for a swipe or this technique. And here you can see for my swipe, I use this palette knife. This is the ultimate paint spreader number two from fluidart.co. And at first I placed here my Lamp black cell activator and here you see a little dash of white. Um, I think when I make this, you have seen my art piece, uh, what I show you at first, there's no white space, but uh, I believe when I use this, um, my sets, when I use only pigments in my swipes then my sets are in shape and don't get wonky here you can see my little swipey and the cell pop i love this cell pop and now um i looked where i tilt at first my art piece so that I lose this part that I don't like so much and keep this part that I love. You can see this start from my swipe is not so pretty. So this must go away.
So after tilting, um, I spin my art piece a little bit um, because remember my pillow paint is just a regular house paint without any latex or something in it. And when I try to make my pillow really thin with the spin, <laughs> so I get sure that uh, nothing cracks. When your pillow is too thick, then maybe your pillow and your paints are cracking when they're drying and so I spin a little bit so that I have no cracks in it. So my friends, this was my little new art tutorial how to make a spin swipe. I wish you a nice day and sending best greetings.